two videos ago, I mentioned that let is one option for making a variable. There's also another keyword called const. It stands for constant. So it works the same way. We use the keyword const space and then a variable name equals a value. But there's one really essential difference, which is that you cannot change the value of const once you set it. Once it's initialized with a value, it is set. It's constant. So if you try to do this, const age equals 17, that's fine. But then if you try and add one to age, you'll get an error. It's not allowed, you'll get in trouble. So let's try it. Let's do const year equals 1973. If I try and do year plus equals one, type error, assignment to constant variable. You cannot do that. I can't change it at all. I can't do plus plus. I can't do year equals uh, 2010. It is set and it's there for good. So why would you use const? Well, here's a couple simple scenarios where you just need a, a label, a name for a always constant value. Something that you'll use in your code. For example, pi is a constant. You'll use it or you could use it. Uh, if you were making some sort of app with circles that were being drawn all the time, you need to calculate parts, I don't know, different things in the circle. You could use pi and give it a name instead of having your code riddled with 3.14159. Same thing, days in a week, min height for ride, instead of just a number that doesn't really make sense to look at, you give it a label. And this also makes sure that it doesn't change. But that's not the only use for const. In fact, later on, when we talk about arrays and objects, you'll see that const is more useful than you might think. When we get to those data structures, more complicated types for values, you'll see that it's a lot more useful and it's not just for making things that never change. I won't get into it now. But for now, what we know is that let allows you to define a variable as is const. Let allows you to change that variable whenever you want. Const does not. Also, if we do define a variable with const or let, let's pick one like people count equals 10. If I want to define a variable using let, I cannot use people count. Even though I'm using a different keyword, let instead of const, people count has been taken. It's not available. So you cannot have variables with the same name, even though one is const and one is let.